So I'm making our way to the Cowtown Comic Con here in Hearst, Texas. It gets bigger and bigger every year, guys. So got Heidi with me. And we got JoJo, three members of the uh, Funhouse team. We also got Manuel, who's already at the check-in booth. We're going to have some fun. Join the Funhouse. Let's go to the Cowtown Comic Con and Horror Fest. Ooh. Just went through some of the hall over here where there's a lot of the vendor tables just as you check in to pay to go into the admissions of the con. And look at this. I mean, you got some really great artists here with some really good stuff right here. There's some really cool stuff. Here's some of the other vendors right here, if you can see behind me. Ariel Diaz. There she is behind us. She's waving at us. <laughs> Is interesting. I want to make sure I say this right. Granny's grazed glass. Check these guys out. And look at look at the look at this. This is really, really. I hand them with a Dremel. Hand done, guys. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Great, great job, guys. Again, look at this. Follow these guys. Give them a follow and buy their product, right? Right. Yeah, right. rock on. Okay, so I haven't even made it past the first row of vendors here. There's so many vendors. Look, we got one right here. See him right there? Look at him. He's happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. We got a lot of great stuff here. A lot of great artwork. I mean, just all kinds of comics. And we've got uh, art, uh, authors here that are doing all kinds of books that is their own actual product. Look at this. If you see behind me, Heidi's talking. There she is. Oh. Okay, so just finished the first hallway of the con and they've really added on a lot more from the last time but here right here it's another hallway that goes i guess and this is the second room there's a lot of vendors here as well but it's amazing how big this event has gotten look it's waving at me.
That's Stephanie the Donnie. We've talked to her before at Fanboys Marketplace a while back. <laughs> Where this is where it's just loaded with all kinds of vendors. Great vendors in the hallways, of course. I mean, we know a lot of them. We made some new friends. And uh, yeah, this event definitely, like I said, is getting huge. I mean, let me circle around behind me. It's pretty big. You can see, I mean, there's a lot of vendors just behind me as we're walking. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff here, a lot of cool things going on. So we're gonna walk around, we're gonna take a look. which I just put them on film. We got Cole Hayes here. There he is. He's got, I'm coming back for that Ninja Turtle, so. I just gotta make my runs, but that Ninja Turtles is calling my name. We got David Sanchez here. My boss at my job is a huge Sanchez friend, uh, 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 tongue tie. He's a fan of his artwork. He's got some really cool stuff. We got uh, voodoo dolls here. I, I know my, my boss where I work really likes their stuff so it's really good stuff that they do as well so really cool artwork uh, a lot of a lot of fun vendors to meet that I haven't met so we're definitely enjoying this con <laughs> Zombie but awake, Bambi gonna need to wait Can't wait, no time is a game so I just put it all my way I'm zombie but awake, Bambi gonna need to wait Can't wait, no time is a game so I just put it all my way All I need is love, all I need is love 사랑을 갈구해 랩으로 빡치는 건나 랩으로 얘기해 막 사는 걸 자랑을 하는 래퍼들 얘기는 no All I need is hope, all I need is hope 현실을 도피해 랩으로 바쁘단 걸날 필요로 Growing up Night of the Return of the Living Dead was a movie, was the only, re any dead movie that I actually would watch as a kid because this man right here, which I thought I would never meet, Thomas Matthews, your character was, was man, I, I was actually kind of sad when you became one of the Living Dead, but it, I also laughed as a 10 year old when you ate the girlfriend's brain and she let you. In part two. Yes. Yeah. And to Ten me, years old, yes, sir. That's bad parenting. <laughs> well, well, my mom worked a lot, so, and I wasn't really big on horror movies. Babysitter, so. emergency, my sister. Your sister, your older. Sister. Yep. So I had a, I had a um, sister that while my mom worked, she was the one that watched me. She's huge into horror movies, and I was forced to watch movies growing up. So, but I really enjoyed, and I had to make sure I stopped to see you. Because I was like, I would never get to meet this man. Yeah, return Q would be better for a younger child than this part one. Yeah. So I wanted, to, I wanted to make sure I stopped because, man, that is the only movie I liked from the, any of the Dead series. And your character was the character that I rooted for. Even and with the humor was really great. So I want to make sure I said thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. So many great issues of comics here that's just a matter of only getting the ones i really like and man they've got so many comic vendors which is good because you'll find a lot of stuff you can't find um so just really going to see what's going on what they got and just kind of go from there man but this is really freaking me out whoa dude Tons of stuffed animals. I'm a sucker for stuffed animals. We got Mickey and 
Look, uh, what's that? Scar. Yes, Scar. Just angry, angry Leo. Always angry Leo. No, it was always angry Raph. I mean, there's all, one I'm probably going to pick up, thinking I'm going to get, is right here. Is this Fozzie? See that Fozzie? Probably going to pick up that Fozzie bear. Because waka waka waka. <laughs> wasn't finding any Metallica, but I found one for Yankee, the Lady Justice um, pop that he's been wanting, which is right here. And it's super cool. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that expression. Oh, ho, ho. This is, this is Defender that was helping me. Tiger Turtles. Bandito Comics. Oh, look, look behind me. Yep. There they are. So we scored a Metallica pop for Yankee. Next time he needs to be here, because... It's hard to find these things. vendors what sucks is I didn't really pick up much but I don't know we'll see if I can locate everyone that came with me but other than that I did pick up the Metallica Lady Justice uh, pop for Yankee but I didn't score much for me so I don't know we'll see but here's Mike right here retro half on V who is a friend of the show look at her V, what have you been up to? Oh, not much. Just uh, trying to get through life, I guess. <laughs> but I'm here now. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to follow V, she can tell you how you can find her follower and, uh, of course, show her some love and support. Tell us, V. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, DJ V Cosplay, like always. I was deleted, but I'm back on there, but still just as easy to find. And on Facebook, DJ V Cosplay. Yeah. Always good to see BB. Good to see you. Good to see you. Big shout out to the Cowtown team for letting us come out and have some fun and talk to people. And again, guys, if you've never been to Cowtown Comic Con, you got to check it out. Show them some love and help them grow. And uh, until next time, join the Funhouse.